who wanted to come to America? Everybody who didn't have enough. Enough land to feed the family. Enough chance to make a good life for himself and his kids. They say 35 million people in less than 100 years. Slavs, Jews, Russians, Irish, Italians, everybody you can think of. And I was one of them, a kid of 12. My father went first and worked until he can send for me, my sister Kasia, my little sister Eva, Mama, and Babcha, my grandmother. America, what did we know? Plenty jobs and plenty money. A promised land. If you ask us how long it took to get to America, we would say 10 days, maybe two weeks in bad weather. Only after I got here, I found out the journey takes a lifetime. Next, please. Name? Babczewska Kasia. Next. Come along, Granny. Come along. Name. Name, please. Babcia, powiedz nazwisko. Nie. family coming Ellis Island today. So? I go early, maybe meet them. I make up time tomorrow. I'm short one skinner today as it is. I don't see them for three years. Can't be helped. You waited three years. You can wait a few more hours, can't you? Sorry I bothered you. Boy is 12 and the girl is 15 and 5. Do any of them read and write? Umiecie czytać i pisać? Wszyscy tylko babcia i moja mała siostra. All but the old lady and a little girl. Who paid their passage and who's meeting them? Kto wam zapłacił za podróż? Mój tata. A kto was ma spotkać? Mój tata. Father in both cases. All right. Where are they going to live? 338 Bedford Street, Greenpoint, Brooklyn, America. All right. You already know a little English, eh? That's good. You're going to need it. Welcome to America. Tylko ja? Nie, nie. Dla was wszystkich. All of you. Proszę pana, what means all right? It means dobrze. Wszystko w porządku. Good luck. Good luck. Chevskis, you see them? Beats me, mister. Look around. Tata! Tata! Asha! Danek! Sophia! Eva, 
Nie, nie jestem skyscraper. Brother Wojtek, in the first word, praise be Jesus Christus, and I hope you will answer forever and ever. Amen. I inform you, we have good luck in America these two months. Tata is earning nine dollars a week at Slaughterhouse. Weź koszulę iść do roboty. Dziękuję, mama. Mama has job cleaning in skyscraper every night. She earns six dollars a week. Dzień dobry, mama. Piszę do Wojtka. Kasia doesn't live with us anymore. She has work as servant girl in big house. She earns three dollars a week and all her meals. Dear brother Wojtek, you ask me to write and describe America, but I am two months in America, and I do not even know whether it is America. It seems there is this house I work in, and no more. Still, they are good to me here. I have a bed of my own with real linen sheets, and food such as we never tasted in our village. After you and Franja come, I can use my wages to save for my dowry. So, Brother Wojtek, I inform you, we have three wage earners and $18 a week. Janek, may dobrze. Janek, may dobrze, may. If Tata would let me get a job, I could help too. But he makes me go to school. School is free in America. Otherwise, maybe he wouldn't make me go. Janek! Remember the cap I saved so long to buy in Poland? The schoolboys say only greenhorns wear caps like mine. It is harder than I thought to be an American. Snowbound 
by John Greenleaf Whittier. The sun that brief December day rose cheerless over hills of gray and darkly circled, gave at noon a sadder light than waning moon. The second stanza, please. Yannick. Slow tracing down the thickening sky. <laughs> Slow tracing down the thickening sky. Slow tracing down the thickening sky. <laughs> Yannick, tick is the sound a clock makes. Thick, thick. Say it. Tick. <laughs> Thick. Tick. In my school, Brother Wojtek, there are children from Germany, from Italy, from Russia. But the Irish got here first and they think they own the whole country. What's that? Potato. A potato? Only green ones eat potatoes. Eat this. This is American food. What's the matter? Don't you know what it is? I know. I'm giving it to you. Go ahead, eat it. Come on, Yannick, eat it. Eat it. to have a fight with everyone who laughs at you. You're going to be a very busy boy. In fact, you'll have to hit me. I laugh at you too. Tuck your shirt in. Or you can rid yourself of those characteristics which make us laugh. In my opinion, that is the less painful solution. Look at me. Do you want to be an ignorant foreigner all your life? Or do you want to be a real American? I gonna be American. Yannick, if you were a farmer and your horse were too sick to pull the plow, what would you do? Get another horse. And if your father were ill, or not as strong as he is now, what would his boss do? That's right. He'd get another horse. That is the purpose of education, to help you rise above your background. You have the intelligence to do so. If you wish to remain a horse, like most of the immigrants who come to America, there is nothing I can do to help you. But if you are aiming for something higher, I can. Well, What I gotta do? Genevieve V. Clark. That's the name, my teacher. So, why you take her book? Nie, yeah, Tata. She gives me to study. <laughs> nah. Every day, I stay after school, and she teach me speaking good. Then I get good job, dress nice, make good money. So movies. No more Polish at home, only English. Co mówisz? Nie, babcia, po polsku nie. I gonna be American.
thought. 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 Dear thought. brother Wojtek, now we are six months in America. Thought. In one more month, we send ship tickets thought. for you and Franja. My thought. teachers say I doing good, and I gonna be thought. a real American. I can't do. Janek, put your tongue against your teeth. Like this. Now. Thought. Thought. Thick. Thick. Now you know how. Don't forget it. Thought. Thick. Don't any of you speak English? Proce, proce, pan doctor. Proce. All right, all right. I'll write it out for you, but you'll have to get someone to translate it. It's the best I can do. Yannick. Do you understand English? Your father has had an accident at work. He has a broken hip. Tata. He must not walk on it. Do you understand? How long? Four, maybe five months. If he stays in bed, there's a chance it will heal. You understand? On ma złamany bok i musi być w łóżku na jakieś cztery miesiące. Chevsky's son. Oh, okay. Get back to work. How is he? No good. He can't walk still. You come for his things? Please. My father don't want to lose the job. He come back as soon as he can walk. What's he think? I'll close down till he's ready to come back? I replaced your father the day after the accident. Go on now with this. Don't you understand? You got another horse. Now listen here. There's boatloads of men like your father coming in every day of the year. In America, you have to ship for yourself. Rain on, kids. There is a boy my age who lives upstairs, a Jewish boy with no father. He takes in piecework, and often I see him bring it home. Maybe I will speak to him. Please. What do you want? How much are you getting for this job? Who sent you? Nobody. My father is sick. He no work no more. Er wohnt eben. Sein Tat ist krank und er kann nicht arbeiten mehr. 
They pay by the piece. We get four dollars some week, three dollars, three fifty. You going to school? Nah. He is 50 years old, a widower, five children, a big farm in Wisconsin. Gosh, you're only 15. Too young for this man. Read this letter. I want a young Polish girl, strong and healthy. She needs have no dowry, for I have plenty. I will help her family when I can. I too had hard times when I come to America. Think about it. Father, I wish we go back to Poland. America no good for us. Pan Bupogowo Swabi, Zawatfi. Benedicat te omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Nie wam powiedział Bogosławie. Dziękujemy. Babcia! She gives father all the money. All the money. Ty byś się uczył, siostrami, ty byś nigdy nie zapomniał o kościele. Tata, I don't forget. To nie jest dobre dla ciebie? My teacher, she said practice English. Dosyć ty nauczycielki, w tym domu my zdajemy do kościoła i my rozmawiamy po polsku. To my zawsze będziemy Greenhorn. Piszkąca? Wisconsin, mama. Dear brother Wojtek, I inform you, Kasia leaves tomorrow to marry the widower in Wisconsin. Babcia, nie. Będzie nam wstyd, jeśli pójdziesz bez niczego. Tata says she must go. For this man has said he will help us. And we need help. Haven't you been in school? Did you read it? I said you could keep it as long as you remain in school. Oh, Yannick, no. When my father work again, maybe I'll come back. No, you won't. It never works out that way. Your family will need your wages. Oh, Yannick, you could have gone so far. Now you'll never be better than your father. I have no need to be better than my father. Yannick, keep the book. to work in the slaughterhouse right before my 13th birthday. I stayed there 52 years. In those days, six in the morning until six at night. 
boy. I was one proud kid that first payday. Dobrze, Jan. Dobrze. Jeden, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć. Tata never walked again. Dziękuję. But I had a job. Mama and me together, we were able to pay the rent. We even started saving again to bring Wojtek over. So long ago. So long ago. We had a tough time, sure. But I got my house, my garden, pension, social security. I'm retired. I said to my wife, who would have guessed you would have all this? My son is the salesman. Makes good money. The family is together. My grandson, he goes to college. Brother Wojtek, he brought him over. I think about old days a lot. You know, in the end, I got to be a real American. But it was a long, long journey. It took a lifetime.